Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and uh, we're here today with the all-new Single Wave 300. So it was a uh, soft launch in January, and they, we got our demo unit in, and we got our setup here. So today we're going to weld with this unit. Uh, first off, we're going to go over some features, uh, the new setup on the front. Um, I'm going to explain the menus and the options that you can get with this, and then we're going to try this thing out, weld with it. So I got some aluminum, and I got some steel. Um, but let's, let's jump right into it here. So, as you can see on the front of the machine, we got Sinker Wave 300, so it's it's all new uh, packaging and everything this year. So the old 250 and 350, um, they they're out, they're they're pushing those out and bringing these in. Uh, so this is a new inverter technology for the Sinker Wave. So basically, your your options they've changed dramatically. It's not no longer a transformer machine; it's an inverter machine. So on the front of the unit, you can see. We got AC TIG, DC stick, DC TIG pulse, and DC TIG. So you got four options. It's pretty clear cut, basic. Um, there is, there's not a lot of uh, functions like a dynasty or that, that sort of thing. So to get into your menu, just to say, let's say we go, we go over to AC TIG, we got 180 amps. You push and hold that menu button, and then it gives you all the options. So start high freak, tungsten size, you can change your tungsten size or run an eighth inch today. Um, RMT standards, that's your remote standard. So we have a foot pedal um, with high freak start. Reflow, we can adjust that up to, I believe, 25 seconds. We're gonna go back down. Point two is gonna be just fine for what we're doing. Now, to get out of that menu, push and hold that button, then you back out. So we're back to 180 amps. To change your balance, it goes up to 80%, down to 60%. So there's some fine adjustment in there, 60 to 80. Or you can hit ball and it'll ball the tungsten for you. We'll go back, we're gonna set it to 75. Push that button one more time. We got a post flow. So we got an eight seconds, I think it'll go all the way up to a 50 second post flow. So we're gonna go with eight seconds. Um, just a good general number. You can go to 8 to 10 seconds on the post flow. So to get back to that, 180 amps. Now this thing does have a pro set feature. It's going to give us their pro set function. So balance 68. Post is auto. It's probably 10 seconds. 180 amps. So that's their pro set. So 68% on the balance. And it just gives you their, their recommended settings for that. So we can turn that on or off. We turn it off we go goes back to our settings we turn it on goes back to factory settings so if you think that maybe you screwed something up along the way and you didn't want to do that you just hit pro set it goes right back to factory settings um minimize you know just takes everything out that you had programmed in there and goes back to factory so that's ac tig this thing does dc stick um you can see right as i turned it to ocv normal uh 93 amps it goes up to 230 amps on DC stick down to 5 amps. So it will run 6010 electrode and 7018 electrode. If you want to choose to do that with stick welding, we can change, then we change over the pulse. High freak start, peak 150 amps. Change the menu. That's where we can change pulses per second. And this is all under pro. We'll turn that off. We'll see what it goes up to. 150 pulses per second down to. 0.1 pulse per second. Now we go back to pro, gives us 100 pulses per second. Post is auto, so that gives us the auto set for post flows, probably 10 seconds. We'll turn that off. We'll see what, we can change that then, adjust it. Peak amperage, 150 amps, pulses per second. So we just toggle back through post flows, eight seconds. We go back to the pro thing. Now if we open up the hold and push and hold that button, we can change High freak, tungsten size again, your standard high freak with your foot pedal, uh, pre flow, that sort of thing. So it's the same functionality as when we were on AC. We flip over to DC, it's going to be the same exact thing. We come back down here, hold and push and hold that menu button, gets us into the menu, change your tungsten, all that stuff. So it's, it's, it's very simple to set up, it's very user friendly. I mean, there's not much setup time. Really, we just put a plug on it and put coolant in it and hook the torch up to it and 
we were ready to weld. So, I, I mean, it, it, it's, it's actually really simple to set up. So we're gonna go back to AC TIG. Um, we're gonna give this thing a shot. So I have it, I got a piece of quarter inch aluminum here. We got it at 180 amps. That should be, that should be good. We'll, we'll uh, right here. I'm running eighth inch tungsten. It, come, it comes with a consumable kit and I'll walk you through that here. Let's give this thing a shot. Welded very nice. Um, as you can see there, that looks that looks pretty good. That that's a pretty nice. Well, so I like I said, 180 amps. I had the balance set to 75 percent. Let's uh let's try their Pro Set feature here. I'm gonna turn on Pro now. Remember that 68 percent balance. Post flow is recommended. I believe it's 10 seconds. Now I had it set at 75 percent balance. Let's try the 68 percent. Tell, tell a little bit difference audibly with, between the frequencies and that and the balance, but really not bad. Um, no set feature. So, like I said, that was right out of the box. We just put a plug on it, put the torch up, put coolant in it, got a gas bottle, and hit pro set feature. I mean, that's you could be welding within an hour. I, I mean, that is really a pretty nice setup. It's really simple, as you can see, not much to change there. Um, now, let me show you here on our consumables, it came with a number eight gas lens and I got my kit right here that it comes with so this came right in the package so you got a 16th inch tungsten 332nd inch tungsten you got your not or your ceramic nozzles come with your collets and then your gas lens body and then it comes with a stubby back cap and a long back cap so that's right out of the gate I mean you have all the consumables that you need to start welding um, on bakersgas.com too we offer consumable kits and we'll probably have a consumable kit for this unit also with some reorder parts and uh, we'll probably link that below on this video um, so all in all the unit is fairly simple the price point is the same as the old synchro wave 250 and 350 so they're launching the synchro wave 300 and they're launching synchro wave 400 those are due their 400s not out yet 300s out and then the June probably May or June all that the 400 is going to launch and then the older units will be phased away and it'll all be this style unit so um it is a basic tig welder uh, and it's very easy to set up as you can see uh, comparable it welds really nice I would say it compares to a dynasty just doesn't have the functionality and if you're familiar with the dynasty you get sequencers uh, you get more pulses per second on the pulse side you can pulse an AC the dynasty has a lot more fine-tuned adjustment whereas this one is just a basic boom plug and play we're good to go hit that hit that pro set feature and as you can see I was up and running so for the person that's you know doing a lot of aluminum welding or a lot of DC TIG welding and they don't need all that functionality, this might be the better option to go with. Um, I, I'd check both options out though. And uh, I mean, it runs, 
I can't, I can't, couldn't see anything wrong with it. It ran really well. I like the unit, but thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned for more. I'll have more coming out. We'll link that consumable kit and we'll link this unit down below with some of the other options that you can get with it. Um, thanks for watching.